Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's part 34 of my fitness database. Whether or not you care about fitness, this is building a database. So it's cool stuff. And we're continuing doing our calculate weight plates algorithm. Today, we're going to add in symmetric processing. So symmetric processing. I, I, was, I was reading an article about processors earlier. <laughs> Symmetric weights on both sides of a barbell. A little bit different from symmetric processing. Symmetric multiprocessing. Another, another tutorial I was watching. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing today. Let's get to it. All right, more times than not, you're going to want to put weight on both sides of the bar, and you want to know how much to put on each side. Now, this will tell you, okay, 2 times 45, 1 times 10. You can do it in your head. Okay, I need two fives, but then we can make the computer do it for us. So when you get gym brain, you don't have to think about it. Right, so the first thing we need to do is put a checkbox here that is uh, to determine whether or not we want this to be processed as uh, symmetric or not. So I'll just put in here sim, which we'll, we know what that means. It's a training issue. Um, and I'll make it so you can actually see it by making it white. There we go. And bring that back. And let's, uh, let's call this guy symmetric. Okay, we'll make the default for that, yes. Okay, now, into our code. Let's go into plan plates, definition. First thing we got to do, let me close this guy here. First thing we got to do is make this accept another parameter. So, symmetric as Boolean. All right, right here, first of all, the load weight. Now, if we're doing symmetric, the load weight's going to be divided by two, right? We need to figure out how much weight to put on each side. So if symmetric, divide load weight by two, right? So this is going to be, so that's the, the one-sided. So if symmetric then the load weight equals the target weight divided by two. Um, and we're gonna also, so we have to keep figuring this out all the time. I'm gonna say pair div equals two, because the other one will do pair div equals one. That way it makes it easier for the calculations later. Okay, and we'll also want a label that says uh, per side on it, instead of, you know, so, so the person knows it's 45 pounds per side. So we'll need some new variables here. Pair div as a long, which will basically either be a one or a two, and then a label as a string. Okay, and then otherwise for single plates, it's gonna be that pair div equals one and the label is just blank. Okay. All right, now for the plate count, we have to do something a little different here because we want to use plates in pairs, right? Uh, you don't want to put a 45 pound plate on one side of the barbell and then uh, four tens and a five on the other. It just won't be balanced. So you want to make sure everything's done in pairs. So we know the total plate count, but now we got to figure out, okay, we got to, we got to have enough to do two on each side if it's symmetrical. And that's why I made this guy up here, the pair div, so we can divide it. So let's make another one, another variable up here. We'll call it uh, max by inventory or whatever you want to call it as a long. And then down here, we're just going to make sure that um, max by inventory equals int the quantity owned by divided by the pair div. So if I own 10 of them, I can use five. Make sense? Because it'll be, the pair div will be divided by two because we're doing symmetrical. Quantity owned is 10 of the 45 pound plates. So the max by inventory is five now. But if it's not symmetrical, pair div is one. So it's the full quantity owned. See what I'm doing? It just makes it easier than having to check for that all the time. I just made a, a variable called pair div. So either divide by two or leave it one. Now, uh, the use count equals the plate count, right? Which we already figured out. But if the use count 
is greater than max by inventory, then the use count equals max by inventory. Okay? So we figured out how many plates we need. This will now figure out how many plates we have divided by two, if it's symmetrical or not. Set the use count equal to the play count, but if play count is bigger than this number, then use that number. That's a little, just a little bit of a change. And now all we have to do is throw in this label that I put, either per side or nothing. So down here, plate, right, right there, we're gonna put a space in there, and then we'll throw in here and label. So it'll be either nothing or per side. All right, save it. Debug, compile, once in a while. Oh, oh, plan plates, argument not optional. Did you see that? Let me do it again so you, in case you missed it. Argument not optional because we added symmetrical in there and that's a checkbox. So symmetrical is a checkbox. That'll get sent. No, I spelled it wrong. Symmet symmetrical, and I still got it spelled different from what's over here. <laughs> Let's see how I spelled it over here. Symmetric, symmetric, see? A little thing. That's why you. That's why you take in full advantage of not capitalizing stuff, right? When you declare your variables and you you name your fields and all that stuff, you want to type in proper capitals. But as you're coding, you don't because I can immediately see that as soon as I did this, right, symmetrical, I immediately can see now it didn't camel case. So I know I typed it in wrong. If I just did that, the S capitalizes. All right. So that's one of those little developer tricks. You want to remember that. All right. Debug compile. We're good. Close it, close it, open it. 100 pound plates, go. All right, target 100 pounds, 145 per side, one five pound per side, and that is correct. Let's get the per side, right? 45 and a five is 50 times two is 100, and it works good. Let's do uh, 300 pounds. Calculate. 345s per side. That's three times 45. I got to pull the calculator out. Three times 45 is 135 times two is 270 plus 20 plus 10. That's 300 pounds. Beautiful. And let's try throwing a weird number in like 301. And we got a remainder half pounds per side. Not possible. Let's put that in our code. Uh, where are you at? And then in here, definition. Half pounds and label. Burp. Pounds and label and not possible. Save it. Burp. There you go. Perfect. Another thing I thought of, and I might add this in the future, is a lot of what I do are either drop sets or pyramid sets. What a drop set is, is uh, if you want to, you know, you're getting toward the end of your, your workout and you really want to fatigue that muscle, you start off at, let's say you're doing 160 pounds or whatever. All right, you do your set of that and then you drop it down to 140, then you drop it down to 120, then you drop it down to 90. So, you you know, you're just pushing that muscle to the, to the to its limits and you keep lowering the weight so you can exhaust it properly. Or pyramid sets where you work, you know, if you're warming up, you work slowly up to your max and then you come back down to fatigue it. So, one option I figured I might add in the future is a little checkbox to make it a, a full drop set. So it'll give you all of the, the measurement, you know, every weight you need based on whatever you decide you want to start off at, you know, 25% and then jump to 50% or whatever that weight is. And that would make things easier. I just kind of wing it right now, but I just, I just track my max weights. But we'll talk about this when we get into the whole workout side of the equation. But I hope you enjoyed my little uh, side journey, a side quest, right? We're on a side quest to, um, to do a little programming, a little, little, little algorithm in here instead of just all access stuff. This is, this is like computer science-y kind of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more stuff like this, let me know. Post a comment down below, like, share, all that good stuff. But that's going to be your tech help video for today. That's part 34. Let's see what's on the calendar here. Today is the 9th of September, 2025. Tomorrow's going to be another non-fitness one. I'm going to try and throw one non-fitness one in every week. So we'll continue with the fitness database on Thursday. And then, of course, we got Friday quick query. So we're, uh, we're, we're, we're chugging right along. I know uh, we're up to part 34 already. 
but we're we're getting a lot of stuff in the database like that we're we're figuring out exactly how we want it to be and how we want it to work and so when we get to the the actual workout half of the database a lot of this is going to go faster because we've already got a lot of this code written it's just moving in the right places so uh but yeah i'm having fun you guys having fun let me know post a comment down below that's going to do it for your tech help video for today hope you learned something live long and prosper my friends i'll see you next time if you enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like also be sure to subscribe to my channel which is completely free and make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever i post a new video do you need help with your microsoft access project whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more. Any links or other resources that I mentioned in the video can be found in the description text below the video. Just click on that Show More link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there. Just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. That's it. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level. Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month, and yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks, plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. Plus, you get access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. Platinum members get all of the previous perks, plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject. And you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. And you can become a diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.